Did you ever notice that Princess Diana was obsessed with blue eyeliner? I like to be a free spirit, the late princess once said. Some don't like that, but that's the way I am. Welcome to Princess Diana the channel. If you like our videos, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to never miss a video about the people's princess. Of all her signature looks, the one that has always stuck out to us was her 80s-era bright electric blue eyeliner, applied in the waterline of her eyes, most strikingly worn with one of her sparkling diamond tiaras. We know it was the 80s, and that it was the banner decade for colorful makeup, but for a woman of her stature, it seemed a bit of funky rebellion, a means of subtly railing against the royal system. In the 80s, blue eyeliner was about brightening up naturally blue eyes, close to the lash line. And guess what? It's making a comeback this summer. Just go for that colorful look. Yep, also when your eyes are brown, it will make them pop. Diana never took the blue up to her eyelid, although sometimes a light blue silver shimmer would make her look even more glamorous. Diana would especially apply her iconic blue eyeliner when she felt vulnerable and targeted. She definitely felt more confident when using it. The late princess loved wearing nude shades on her lips. In the 90s, she would sometimes choose red lipstick. And also, not common for a royal at that time, she applied red nail polish for a striking effect. In private, though, Princess Diana never wore much makeup. On holidays or when working out at the gym, she developed a natural flush on her cheeks. In public, Diana could be thickly painted. She once arrived at Vogue, wearing a heavy layer of almost orange foundation. She apologized, saying that if she didn't make sure her skin had a sun-kissed glow, the paparazzi would take pictures and everyone would accuse her of looking pale, maybe even sick and exhausted. It was for that reason Diana had thrice-weekly sunbed sessions on a machine she kept at home. Today, of course, such behavior would be frowned upon for health reasons, but for Diana they served a useful purpose, allowing her to present a sunny face to the world, even when on the inside it was all dark clouds and thunder. 9080 was all about the princessification, a process largely orchestrated by the press and palace to turn Diana into a sophisticated young lady worthy of her new status. This involved the handwork of makeup artist Clayton Howard. Howard first met a nervous Diana for the Vogue magazine show that would produce the official engagement picture. Howard used Max Factor Sheer Genius Foundation in Honey Touch and a Max Factor blusher stick in Frosted Coral. On the eyelids, he applied Elizabeth Arden Shades Rise and Timberland. To really emphasize the might is to use a colored pencil, a blue pencil to match the color of her eyes along the bottom rim above the bottom lashes which just emphasized the whites and brought out the blue of her eyes i use navy blue mascara because i find it's very flattering on people with blue eyes and it doesn't look as hard as black a darker blusher under the cheekbones to push them in sort of following the shape in a minute diana's famous wedding makeup First, Mary Greenwall, Ty's makeup artist in the 90s, the person who perhaps had the most influence on her look. Mary first met Diana in 91, when she was asked to do her makeup for a shoot for Vogue's December issue. And Mary was not quite on board with the famous blue eyeliner. She told Diana to leave it behind and use natural browns instead. Well, we agree to disagree. We wish Diana had continued her love affair with the blue, the bold color was such a fun beauty trademark, especially when you consider that being British royalty typically means being more conservative with personal style. Well, at least we still have the photos. In the 90s, the late princess was seen using dramatic heavy black coal. For example, in the Martin Bashir interview, deployed to devastating effect as she gazed up through thick lashes and uttered the immortal line. Well, there were three of us in this marriage. So it was a bit crowded. <laughs> Diana's makeup artist Mary Greenwald taught the late princess to do her own beauty routine. Always clean your face before sleeping. Try to have a good 8 hours of sleep 
When waking up, clean your face again. Moisturize, apply foundation, a little bit concealer to lift the eyes, and always use a lot of mascara. Drink a lot of water, eat fruit and vegetables, and try to skip too much stress and alcohol. The Princess Favorite Guerlain Foundation, Clarin Lipsticks and Wild Rose Blusher by Clinique. Mary Greenwell used a combination of soft browns and neutral tones with a brown pencil along the lash line. Blend it so that all the edges were beautifully softened. Luxury brand Clarin was a favorite. Diana was said to have used their sensitive skin day and night creams and their Alpine Herbs cleanser and toner. She also had regular facials at the Central London Salon of beauty therapist Janet Filderman. Diana had famously lovely skin, but sometimes suffered from rosacea, a mild cheek rash that is often stress-related. To calm it down, she used a combination of natural soothing oils, including rosehip. The only part of her appearance Diana wasn't confident about was her nose. Once, when the papers were saying she'd had her nose done, she laughed and said, Honestly, if I had my nose done, do you think I would have chosen this one? As the advice from Mara Greenwell took hold, Diana began to grow more confident in her new look. One of her most memorable appearances at the Serpentine Gallery in London in 94, wearing the famous revenge dress, shows her starting to crystallize what was to become her signature style in the final years of her life. Yes, blue eyeliner was banned from Di's wedding. Diana's makeup for her fairy tale wedding on July 29, 1981 was a symphony in soft apricot and peach tones. Absolutely no blue liner, and it suited her perfectly. The person responsible was Barbara Daly, a former makeup artist at the BBC, recommended to Diana by Folk. On the day itself, Barbara arrived at 6.30 a.m. with a suitcase of products. She applied concealer, powder, blusher, and mascara. It had to be enough because there were a lot of lights, a lot of TV cameras, everybody looking at her. But on the other hand, this was not some Hollywood starlet, but a 19-year-old bride. Applying Diana's wedding makeup took around 45 minutes. Barbara then did touch-ups before the photographs at Buckingham Palace. And she sure was a beautiful bride. Thank you for watching Diana's Makeup Lookbook. See you next time.